everyone this is Scorpion from how to do today we will be continuing our tutorial series so I have been uh, a little busy lately so I was not able to upload any video so but now I am little free so now I will make the tutorial so uh, this is what we made in the previous videos so we made a shooting system alright like this one but there was no reloading or any ammunition or something like that uh, throw it away <laughs> there we go uh, but this was what we made in the previous videos there was a dummy kind of thing right here to test whether the the bullet hits or something or not uh, like that all right bam and that works so in this video we will be learning how to make the reloading system ammunition system and I guess in the next video we will add a GUI over here uh, to to signify that whether we have hit some uh, whether we have more animation uh, what is it called emanation or not so let me just quickly show you what I'm talking about good morning 47 you just shut it up and when we take out the gun in here you can see that there is this uh, this emanation system that three out of three and when we shoot there's two one zero and now we cannot shoot anymore and when we press R it reloads it so that's that's what I want to make so uh, let's get started go into the tutorial thing there we go already now let's get started already so uh, now if you haven't seen my previous videos go ahead click link in the description box below and see the previous videos on how to make all of this stuff so you will be able to learn what I did in my previous video so uh, we made this kind of a character controller or FSM uh, that controls the movement and the animations so uh, yeah that's that and here is when we take out the gun equip the gun right over here and then we shoot we fire over here so uh, when we fire we want to do something uh, but before we do anything we have to go to variables and make a global variable do we have to make a global variable I think not I want to make a normal float and it will be our our um, ammunition so ammo simple ammo alright its value will be equal to how much bullets you want so I want three bullets in my pistol so I will add three so the value of the ammo is th three is three alright it's here you can see so when we game and start the game I want to make a new state and it is called the uh, set very a bells in here we want to set every uh, every variable all right uh, so let's just set it to start state so when the game starts it will come in this state first uh, I want to set a float value sorry uh, float float value where is it set float value and the float value I want to set is the ammo alright and it is set to 3 by default alright and then say next frame event uh, next frame event and we're gonna say finished finished and bam so it will just set the value of the float value uh, ammo to 3 uh, so this helps you when you uh, restart the level or when you die and then when you restart the level or when you restart the game the variables like health the ammo and all that stuff will be uh, done you know um, changed or set set the variable values all right so I don't know <laughs> that that helps you a lot so you should make this kind of state so uh, when you start the game the value of the ammunition will be 3 and when you shoot all right uh, when you shoot you want to add a new state over here so grab these three bring them over here and when you shoot you gonna go in here and you wanna say we wanna say uh, float subtract subtract yeah there we go uh, float subtract we wanna set the ammo by subtract by one and then we wanna say next frame event and we wanna go to finished and there we go so what's happening is whenever we shoot this float value will be subtracted by one so when it's three it will be subtracted by one it will become two and then we'll shoot come back another shoot it will become one and another shoot it will become zero 
and then what we have to do is we have to make another uh, another state over here that will see uh, float compare uh, o a t compare compare float you want to compare is the mo with zero so if it is equal to zero uh, then we want to say uh, reload and if it's less than zero again we want to say reload every frame i don't know uh, and transition reload and uh, uh, if it's greater than then we're gonna go to fire all right let's see if it's if the logic is correct or not take these things oh shit take these guys out there so uh, the ammunition will be subtracted by one let's let's say the ammunition is three the ammo is three it's subtracted by one so it goes uh, two then it will compare the ammo with zero so if it is uh, if two is greater than zero of course so it's greater than we will go to fire there we go and if it's less than or equal to zero then it will go to reload so reload add new state add reload over here uh, but what we want to do is we want to just delete that and we want to copy this guy paste it over here uh, oh come on grab this guy and uh, reload I don't know reload there we go drag and drop the reload over here we don't want to fire in reload so we wanna say get mouse button down uh, so we don't want to fire it activate come I think these all are good I think so I think so and you want to say get button down get button down it will be reload and we want to set that reload project settings input uh, I said edit project settings input and then we come in here and I have already set I guess this one right here so you have to just go ahead and increase this number with one I think yours will be 18 but mine is 27 because I have added these much so you have to just uh, you have to just go ahead and like in my it's 27 right so you have to just say 28 new one pops in here and you have to just rename it to reload uh, reload and set it to r r r r r r all right just like that which i did it so you don't i don't need anyone so uh sorry 27 okay just make sure you copy the name which you added here and paste it over here all right and then I'm gonna say reload so what's happening is that when our ammunition reaches zero uh, then we are going to come in here and whenever we press R it will reload the enemy uh, the ammunition otherwise we won't be able to shoot right uh, reload there we go so here get button down reload so whenever we press R it goes to reload over here and we want to say set float value shit I just say F L A O T O A T float value <laughs> uh, emanation to 3 alright and then we're gonna say next frame event go finished bam and come back to this guy alright I think it will work I think so uh, let's just go to variables and let's just do that select ammunition and here as you can see the value let's just play and see so the ammunition value is 3 now right when we take out the gun and when you shoot you see its value is 2 now 1 and 0 so now if I shoot it does not shoot like I'm I'm shooting right it's not working and when I press R there we go it's three now and we, we can shoot right so one two three uh, one two three bam one two three okay uh, okay uh, what you have to do uh, what's ha what's the error all right you don't actually need. I don't think so you need it I don't think so okay uh, the thing I thought is that you don't want it to be equal all right you have wanted to set less than so when it's equal we don't want to go we're gonna say less than or greater than so that will work uh, quite nicely 
so now as you can see when we take out the gun and bam one two three okay something is wrong uh, quickly see what the heck is going on I don't know uh, oh, oh. okay okay so uh, sorry when it's equal to zero it has to go to fire my mistake sorry guys save the scene when it's equal to zero go to fire less than zero go to reload greater than zero go to fire great now it will quite nicely work take out the gun bam pishum 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 don't works and you can see pishum 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 <laughs> dun, dun, dun. and there you go great it's working great but the thing is that he reloads like with no animation right so we want some kind of animation to play so for that i will go to the animations if you're wondering what these kind of folders are with numbers they are actually the 3d models all right which i used in my game like this is the kitchen what is it kitchen i don't know what it is <laughs> it's some kind of thing and this is the shower and the material is not the best material this is the curtains in behind these curtains the guy is actually pooping and this is the carpet and yeah the pillow oh whoa whoa the pillow looks good i want to add the pillow over here oh okay <laughs> now that's not good delete the pillow and set it to point one i guess i guess nope uh what what that what was that oh shit I guess it should be point zero two. I guess so. No. Enable import settings. Okay, do that. Whatever you want. Do whatever you want. I set it to one, one, one. Okay, that looks good now. And here is the pillow. Great. And we can also add a rigid body to it. Rigid body. And there we go bring it here bam awesome they look realistic I I, I do think they oh <laughs> what the heck was that they do not have any mm, collider let's say mesh collider convex no it does not work with them so I think I have to say uh, sphere collider I guess sphere Collider. Uh, increase the radius of it, and yeah. Bam and wham. Mm, there we go. We can throw the pillows away. There we go. Awesome. And we can of course kill that guy. So uh, now we were talking about the um, uh, animation, right? Okay. Come back to your tutorial. Hey you. Come back to your tutorial. So. Uh, Oh, zombie kind of thing. Uh, where is it? Where is that porn death? <laughs> porn death. Okay. Uh, where the heck is the reloading? Uh, reloading. Hey, where is? Oh, just. Just do that. Okay. So there was no. Okay. This this is the animation. I guess I will give it to you guys. I will give you the whole M animation, uh, uh, this folder. All right, so you don't have to worry about. It. You just have to come in here, reload, and it is already set. This this thing. All right, already set. You just have to make sure it is humanoid, and and that's that. All right, you just need to do that. And then you have to come to your animator, select your player, and there. This is the animator which we made in our previous videos and uh, we want to go ahead and drag and drop this reloading over here so it has actually two animations inside of it I guess there are two okay so one is the actual and one is this rifle which I which I this is the rifle one and this is the this is for the pistol alright Great, so both of them are in the same one. 
okay uh, so I don't want rifle animation I want the pistol animation so mixmo drag and drop it here and I'm gonna say reload there we go and make sure you copy the name so copy that and then we wanna come to the idol there we go uh, okay great come to your character edit and when it reloads when we press R we wanna say any major crossfade there we go and make sure it's on the top so bring it top user owner and paste the name in here which we copied off the state uh, this one all right uh, make sure the name is correct and um, decrease the transition duration to 0.1 and I want to say delete that and I say wait wait for I, I don't know one second I guess or two seconds 1.4 seconds <laughs> 1.43 that's that's awesome save the scene and check you have to just fine-tune these values so weight values so it does not choose anymore press R does that animation uh, okay 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 make sure it's one and then we have to say finished and it should be I guess point 0.7 so that it transitions quite nicely you know nice and fine transitions okay looks good looks good to me yeah it looks good to me so he's doing that animation great that was it hope you guys enjoyed my video if you did then subscribe to my channel which is how to do uh, you can find awesome tutorials PewDiePie <laughs> you can find also some awesome uh, tutorials in my channel make sure you subscribe uh, and please try to hit 500 subscribers because I really need that and I am uh, getting no benefits from YouTube making videos on YouTube because uh, my channel is not monetized all right uh, because I don't have thousand views uh, su a thousand subscribers uh, to monetize your uh, channel you have to need thousand subscribers and I don't have that uh, so make sure you donate me some money through PayPal like something like that you just uh, you have to click the link in the description box below and say and you have to say like this much all right and say next and bam next and donate me myself <laughs> and I th want to tell you guys something pay hell wallet I want to tell you guys it has been I don't know let me just see uh, I have given you guys my donation link from this thing from 13th May 2018 all right till now till now it's 1 7 2018 and I have still zero dollars I haven't got any donation from you guys like any at all so please try to do that uh, I will appreciate yeah that but yeah that's that hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in my next video till then be cool